tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. In the wake of the cold front from this morning, we're going to have cloudy and cooler conditions with us for the rest of our Tuesday now. A pretty pleasant pattern looks to assemble as highs look to stick near 50 degrees as we go through most of the remainder of this week. And as we get into the weekend, it looks like we'll chill things off a bit further as we deliver a chance of some rain and possibly a few flakes mixing in as we get to Saturday night and Sunday morning. Here's a review of some of the rainfall totals from across the map. Muskegon reporting 1.35 inches of precipitation, close to an inch in both Benton Harbor and getting close to three quarters of an inch, 73 hundredths in Holland, and also 61 hundredths of an inch in Battle Creek. The latest update from Grand Rapids, 58 hundredths of an inch of rain, a good soaking, 56 hundredths of big rapids, 51 hundredths in Kalamazoo, and 35 hundredths of an inch in Ionia. As we look at the satellite and radar pictures, Storm Track Live displaying that cold front continuing to slice off to the east, and a lot of the rain has been removed from our coverage area at this point. Just a little bit of drizzle, some spotty showers here and there, so reductions in visibility as you approach Holland and here in Grand Rapids, but it looks like as we get into the afternoon, we'll start to have some drier air work in as the wind has been able to spin now to the northeast, so that'll help us out. Looking outside from our Heritage Hill camera, still that deck of cloud cover, 45, the latest update on our temperature, and it's currently uh, east-northeast wind of 9 miles per hour being plugged in. We'll check in on temperatures now. You can still see some remnants of the warmth from yesterday as you head further south toward cold water and Sturgis. Temperatures propped up near 60. Meanwhile, many spots in the 40s, 44 in Greenville, 46 Holland. It's currently 45 in Ludington and 47 as you travel to Allegan. Winds are from the north. We have those sustained at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Here's a check of future casts now. It shows that we'll stick with the clouds through the remainder of the day, and there could be a spotty shower or two, some blips on the projected radar there. As we continue into tomorrow, still hanging on to a lot of the clouds, but it looks like those will erode as we approach tomorrow afternoon, bringing back some sunshine and some pretty nice conditions for Wednesday afternoon. Thursday, a little more cloud cover in the morning before mostly sunny skies take over once again. 33 degrees for tonight, partial clearing, cooling things down. Northeast winds somewhat strong at between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Morning clouds followed by afternoon sunshine for tomorrow as it looks like we'll rise to a high of 51. The average high temperature is 40, so it's still going to be about 10 degrees above where we should be here in early March. Here's a check forward in the eight-day forecast. Still that lingering chance of an isolated shower today. Cloudy skies with a high temperature of 52. Some more sunshine popping out both Wednesday and Thursday as temperatures hold steady in the 50s. Another cold front looks to come in this weekend. That'll spark off some rain showers as we get into the second half of the day on Friday. And you can see that cool down coming this weekend. Rain transitioning over to a few snow showers on Saturday. Even still, the high temperature in the upper 30s on Sunday afternoon. So it's unlikely that any of that snow will really stick before we warm things up again early next week. Emily and Sue. All right, Scott, sounds good. Thank you.